the, the very definition, I suppose, of a reaction is to do something uncontrollably. Yeah? And so, so in a moment, we kind of lose ourselves and lose control of ourselves. And we say and do things that we don't necessarily want to, that we don't necessarily mean, um, that maybe, you know, often we have an idea about how we like to live and what we like to do, but, but as we go, through, you know, we, we might even start with that intention and we go through our day and then start getting triggered. Yes? And, and each time we get triggered, we go off and, and start reacting in a way that we don't really want to. And, and this is kind of the reason, one of the, the deep reasons for this is that um, every time we go unconscious or onto autopilot, right? Let's think about it as an autopilot, where you're just going through and you're not really present and you're just doing your thing because most of the stuff that we do in our life, we can kind of do it automatically. The only things that we can't kind of do without our full presence are brand new things. Most of the things that we, we do regularly and repetitively, we actually are able to, our bodies are able to carry out the functions with our mind being somewhere else. Yes? And every time we do that, what happens is our programming from our past takes over and runs the show. So we might have all the best intentions on how we want to live, and, and what, how we want to act and so on, but every time we go off, the old pattern comes in. And then you catch yourself doing and saying things that you, you go, oh my God, that's just the exactly the opposite of what I was intending on doing today. Um, so, so we need to be um, aware. Now, psychologists actually su suggest that uh, we, uh, we go unconscious probably 95% of the time on autopilot, in general. Now, the, and if you stop and think about it, that's probably <coughs> pretty right, because how often are you truly, absolutely present? You know, you, you, so often we're partially present and partially thinking about something else and doing something else, but absolutely present, because the reason is, that the, and the reason we know it's probably it's fairly accurate, but it could be more, is because when we're actually truly present and actually extremely profound. <laughs> now, most of the time we're not going around in our days feeling how profound and extraordinary everything is. Yeah? But that's actually what happens when we're really there. So most of the time we're not quite there. And then our, our, our patterns and our habits run the show. <laughs> 